Hey guys, what's happening? Nate here. Today, going to share a couple tips to help the consistency on your forehand. We know that the forehand should be an identifiable weapon, just like the serve. We really, most of us, have the serve and the forehand as kind of our go-tos. But if the forehand is breaking down with consistency, it's not necessarily reliable, and therefore it's not necessarily a weapon. So let me show you a couple ideas to think about and to implement in your game to help build the consistency. So number one, it's really important to keep the head still, but this is also done by the role of what your shoulders are doing, the role that your shoulders play in the forehand. And so what I'm talking about is from our unit turn, as the hand separates, what we'll see here is that my left shoulder comes to my chin. Now from here, as I initiate the forward swing, what's gonna happen is if I keep my head still, I should find my right shoulder, then replacing the left shoulder as the racket moves forward. And this is a quick, really easy fix to make sure that you're keeping the parameters of the stroke consistent. So again, I'm just getting the hand across, chin over the left shoulder, or in the forward swing, the right shoulder replaces the left. Now, I can get the chin down to the shoulder, so you'll see there as I move forward, the chin will go down to contact, but Overall, I don't want the head moving a ton. You've heard keep your head still by every coach in the universe, but this is a great way to make sure that you're doing so. And the act of actually hitting the ball, sometimes it can be hard to tell whether you're actually floating your chin. So think about your shoulders instead. All right, the second tip here is we really wanna work on extension and we wanna make sure that the racket stays on our dominant side of the body long enough to really get that plow through and to keep the ball consistently moving in the direction that we intend. So some players, myself included, sometimes we'll get our racket moving a little too fast and we'll also find that racket working across our body and that elbow getting across our body a little bit too much and that's when we have the tendency to miss our target, especially if we're missing wide. So here on this one, the second tip is to make sure after you've made contact that the racket is actually pointing, the racket tip is pointing out to the opposing court. All right, now from here, the third tip is from here, I wanna make sure that, that the hitting elbow stays predominantly on the dominant side before I finish the stroke. So sometimes what we see is that elbow getting here, and I wanna make sure that even if I'm hitting cross court, that my elbow is here and then moving across, all right? So when we put it all together, what we're talking about is chin to the shoulder, on the initiation of the stroke, unit turn to the forward swing, extension, and then keeping the elbow on the dominant side longer. So just remember, fundamentals are everything when it comes to building consistency and a reliable stroke. So on the forehand, if we're trying to hit really big, we still have to be stable. And we wanna make sure that the head stays still. So remember, get the left shoulder to your chin, get the chin down to the right shoulder or on the forward swing, make sure the racket tip points forward through extension and that elbow stays on the dominant side longer before you go into the uncoil. And then you can put it all together, that big pace, that big top spin, by having the ability to control it consistently. Hope these tips helped an absolute ton. If you enjoyed today's video, you know the drill, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and leave some comments in the comment section. I'm always happy to get in there and discuss ideas, whether positive or negative, with you guys at any time. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.